and welcome to another haul video for Fashion Mumbler Haul Week. As you can see, I have Charlie with me. Hi guys. For today's video. And Charlie and I just went to Boots on Clapham High Street and bought a load of stuff that we've pretty much been meaning to buy for quite a long time. It's a bit of a bit of a Boots haul. So yeah, I thought I would bring Charlie along and we're both going to go through what both of us bought because Charlie buys as much stuff as I do pretty much from Boots, yeah, don't you? Not probably. probably. If not, not more, probably. yeah. And I know I may not have that many guys watching this, but I do know that us girls do sometimes buy for our boyfriends, dads, brothers, etc. So hopefully you'll find it interesting and entertaining having this one um, in the video. We will see. We will see. By the way, if you watched yesterday's video uh, with my Oxford Street haul, this is the top that I got from Zara, so um, yeah. Top. So without further ado, let's see what we picked up from Boots. Do you want to go first? Yeah, sure. Okay. I went for Original Source. Um, I love Original Source shower gels. We have um, a whole cupboard full of this stuff. Yeah, my mum always used to give us it. It was like one of the things she used to give us she in, a, in a package it, for London. You would always nick it from your mum. Yeah, mom, or, I'd, or I'd take it from home. Um, but this one's a scrub. I haven't tried this one. It's a daily exfoliating scrub. Oh. I've tried them. A similar one before which they don't seem to make anymore. I feel like you've already talked about this in a previous video and you were like don't get it on your dangler because it tingles. <laughs> yeah yeah well, let's, yeah well that's a bit rude but um but no I probably wouldn't yeah I probably wouldn't get it on your sensitive areas but this is a scrub it's really nice for after the gym um also during the summer obviously it's quite nice to exfoliate your skin isn't it? Yeah but I haven't tried this one I'm looking forward to it. It's also vegan I don't know why uh, how, how it can be why would it not be vegan? They use no, no. meat in... <laughs> 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 Beef food, shower gel. <laughs> Dexter would like that. Yes, he would. <laughs> First thing that I got is a really practical one and it is a hair turban from Soap and Glory. I recently had to throw my old one away because the button had fallen off. I probably had it for a couple of years. Uh, when you've got long hair like me, hair turbans are fairly essential. I... You look quite silly with it on. <laughs> I do look quite silly with it on, but um, this one's pink. And I needed a new one. I think these were on special offer as well, possibly even a half price. So picked up a hair turban. Okay, so I went went for a moisturiser. I haven't actually tried this. This is from L'Oreal Men Expert. Um, it's got quite a long name. Hydra Energetic Recharging Moisturiser Turbo Booster. I love how they make the names really like. Yeah, manly. it's a really masculine, isn't it? I mean, it's, to be <laughs> honest, what I thought was it'd be quite a cool bottle for like the gym bag. Or yeah. for my travel, like it travel bag. It looks like a toxic potion. Is it 50 mil as well? Although well, it's quite a big bottle, but that'd probably be good for travelling. But they also say on the back, work on it, like, so it's good for ha when you've got hungover skin, so like tired skin. Today then, darling. Yeah, so today would be good. <laughs> um, but it is, I mean, it's quite a big thing, isn't it? Taurine and vitamin C. So, like, taurine is obviously. I've never heard of taurine before. Taurine is in Red Bull, so that confuses me. Oh my god. It's right, so it's... funny how they market these things differently for men and women. It looks but, like something um... like. Form... I know, obviously, Lewis Hamilton yeah. is, a, is an ambassador, isn't he? But it actually looks like a Formula One design. It does. Very cool. Anyway, so looking forward to trying that. My first beauty thing that I picked up was a face mask, and this is from Garnier Skin Active, which I think is like a whole range that they've got. Um, and this is their Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. So I think this is a sheet mask, and they've just called it tissue mask, just to be different. Looks like it's got pomegranates yeah, in it. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a picture of a sheet mask down there. I became obsessed with sheet masks when I went to Hong Kong. I picked up so many, and they were really, really cheap. And then when I got back to UK, they were all like three, four pounds each, and I felt really ripped off. This was 99p. I think it might have been on special offer down from one pound something. But it says, intensely rehydrates the skin, reduces the look of fine lines, and revives radiance. So on those days when, sometimes I can't be bothered to put on a proper like yeah, clay I mean, face mask, because then you have to wash your face. Whereas this, I can stick it on my face. You can literally put it on when you're in bed, can't yeah. you? And then just take it You don't it have off. to get out of bed again. So for 99p, I thought I would give this one from That's Garnier. That's really good value. Yeah, I know. Because we should have got more of them. Yeah, because we'll get more later. I, like, I really liked the um, Estee Lauder one, wasn't it? And you look a bit like a Trojan Moria. Yeah. But they're fifteen pounds. No, eighteen pounds, I think. Yeah. The Estee Lauder ones, which I mean, obviously. It says one mask equals <coughs> equals one week of hydrating serum. I reckon maybe that just means they've poured that much serum onto it, so it's like an intense, intense mm. hit. But yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. If you want to see how we get on with these things, just keep an eye on both of our Snapchats. Or do you use Snapchat or Instagram stories? I haven't really decided. <laughs> I use Instagram I'll stories. I'll leave more. both of our Snapchats I, and Instagrams yeah, down below. I use so both. Different stuff on, depending. Yeah. Dexter features more on Snapchat. Yes. 
Someone snapped me the other day asking me to feature Les Dexter. Really? Yeah. Oh I my said god, no. I, I block them. <laughs> <laughs> block them. <laughs> right, <clears throat> as you can tell I have got a minor hangover. Um, so actually this is probably something I need to take today. These are from a brand called Swiss, who I've only actually recently heard of. Um, through who, one of your friends Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Through, one of my, through one of my friends. But also they're, they're a big sponsor of Team GB, obviously in the Olympics. So they are the men's vitamin sponsor, because um, every man needs a, a vitamin sponsor. But um, <laughs> but they sound they sound obviously there's a lots of vitamin brands out there. These sound pretty good in terms of you know once again it's all around vegan, but also like high quality you know like botanical extracts. So they just sound a little bit more upmarket. So why could I not take these? Why are they men's vitamins? Well, I think typically there's stuff like more zinc and stuff. I mean, I, I don't know. There's different vitamins that you need and I need. Mm. So the female version, the probably the difference probably isn't a lot. But it's just one. They're just multivitamins. I think every. To be honest, like everyone, eat, we're eating a lot healthier, aren't we? Mm -hmm. But it's still worth just topping up. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So hopefully that will help me fight off any colds. Sounds good. I then picked up three things from number seven. I haven't actually bought number seven in quite a while, just because, well, if I'm completely honest, being a blogger, I get sent quite a lot of cleansers and things to try out, so I haven't really needed to buy any in a while. But then when I saw these on special offer, three for two, um, I decided to pick some up. I always, always, always used to use the number seven eye makeup remover. It used to be blue on top and white on the bottom, or clear on the bottom. Uh, the oil-based eye makeup remover cleanser it used to shake it. And still to this day, I retain that that is the best eye makeup remover that I've ever tried. This is the oil-free version, which is really good if you have false lashes on or like individual Nouveau lashes, because oil will make them come off. But either way, I hope that this will be just as good as the one that I used to use. God, it makes me realise how many products girls use that we don't need to worry about as a guy. You have quite a lot of products. I know, but that's like a whole Charlie has more in the shower than I do. Yeah, but that's my domain. <laughs> Your domain. Three times and then I picked up two different cleansers. This one is a foaming cleanser and this one is a micellar cleansing water, both of which I just love both of these consistencies. Foaming cleansers are really good with cleansing brushes. You'll probably use it with a Clarisonic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, whereas micellar water I use as my first cleanse what every is day. It's um so you you don't need to wash it off basically, so you pump it onto a cotton pad and micellar particles attract the dirt from your skin. Okay. Yeah. Because so it's, it's in a lot of products now, isn't it? Well micellar no, water. micellar water is the product. I know, but it okay, a so lot of brands have micellar, micellar water. Products. Yeah, micellar water is a really big thing because it's just so easy and you So I don't know how they make it. I don't know. But you use it as your first cleanse to get rid of the bulk of the makeup and then you clean your skin afterwards. Right, okay. Which is a step that most people don't do. So I wouldn't need this because I don't wear makeup, basically. No, but you could use it to Good clean the oil from your skin. Or use your skin, yeah. Why do no men's brands do micellar water? Like, well, really I think it's design. unisex probably, isn't it? Yeah. But like, I mean, I'm but, not going like, to buy like real, number um, seven. Branded one. Yeah. I wonder how David Beckham feels about this. It's like he's number seven, isn't he? <laughs> I never would have thought of that. Well, yeah, that was his brand, wasn't it? Like, he was number seven. Well, obviously, like, Eric Cantona, like, all the great United players. Anyway, what else did you pick yeah. up, darling? <laughs> Tangent. Um, You're swiftly moving right. away from the topic of football. Yeah, so I picked this up. I used to wear Lynx a lot. It's Lynx, uh, it's a daily fragrance, it's a signature, and I... It, I was drawn to it because it says oud wood and dark vanilla. The packaging is very high end. Yeah, so Lynx obviously is a brand. Oh, gold. I yeah, used to it's use. Like gold. I used to use Lynx at school. Lynx Africa. Yeah. I used to Africa. love that. Or I blend that with voodoo. It was like a, a blend. Yeah, I was a bit of a. Um, yeah, um, and then Lynx chocolate was good as well. Oh, but, yes. but yeah, but I mean, I don't use them anymore to be honest. But this is more of a body spray, I think. It's a precision pump spray. So I'm actually just going to quickly get it out. See, like that's quite that's a sexy design for links. Yeah. Um, let's do it. Uh, oh, might actually be leaking. Spray. Oh, I like that. Mm. That smells Yeah, expensive. I do quite like that. That smells. So it's a lot more. more they're actually like to be honest. This is actually more of like a body fragrance. Yeah, as I said, interesting. Probably once again, one for the gym bag would be quite a nice size. That is a very mm. like high and actually, fragrance. Is it? 100 mil, so you could take this on a flight as well. Mm. So that would be careful if it's going to leak, though. Well, yeah, I think air that pressure. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, no. So interesting one from Links. They're obviously going into different markets a bit now, mm. um, rather than just the uh, 
It's sort of student market. Very wise. Well, the next thing that I've picked up um, are these pore strips from Biore. I think that's how you pronounce it. Biore? Biore. I don't know, French friend probably. Um, and I haven't used pore strips in so, so, so long, but I was actually watching one of Fleur's videos and she picked up something similar. Um, I actually tried to look for the ones that she mentioned, but Clapham Boots is fairly small. So I got these ones and they are uh, charcoal strips, which are meant for your nose, but I have more blackheads on my chin. So I'm just gonna try sticking them on my chin. Yeah, it just says unclogs pores and draws out excess oil for the deepest clean. And Did you peel them off? Yeah, I think oh, that's so I'm satisfying. hoping they're gonna be like really satisfying. That is the most sat one of the most satisfying things, yeah. isn't it? So it says it draws out deep down dirt and oil that can cause blackheads. So hopefully it's going to pull out the actual blackhead because that would be the satisfying bit. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, once again, first impressions we'll will be probably giving go. be on our Snapchats tonight probably. So yeah, keep a lookout for that. What else have you got, darling? Okay. Well, actually, yeah, so these... Ah, get them. So OGX is a brand that Josie and I have been using for a while. Um, these are the shampoo and conditioner. They're small bottles, so I was drawn to the fact that they're quite small bottles. I know I keep talking about my gym bag, but just generally, like, for your wash bag. <laughs> you use the gym every day. You need yeah, and also we stuff. travel quite a lot. So these, like, a moisturiser and conditioner, this is probably enough for at least two week holiday, probably. Yeah, and I use this as well, so it's a really good one for if you're going on holiday together, then it's this a really sexy one. This one is coconut. I keep oh, doing this in the camera, so but good. this is this is the coconut one. I just love coconut. Yeah, it smells, smells good. Um, yeah, so just, just a nice... Nice couple of products. <laughs> I actually picked up another cleanser as if I needed any more, but this one I just wanted to try because it's new, it's from a brand that I love. It's from Simple and it's their cleansing oil. And I didn't know they'd released a cleansing oil, which amazes me because I feel like I love Simple, so I'm amazed I didn't know that. But yeah, I love cleansing oils, so I thought I'd give that one a go. So here it is. Shall I talk about this one? If you want to, don't I? I use them every day. So these are exfoliating gloves from Soap and Glory. I actually, I don't know whether I, probably someone's going to tell me off on the video, but I actually use them every day. So after the gym. No, I think it's good. Yeah, but you maybe shouldn't over exfoliate, but they're, they're not too rough. I they, think you shouldn't exfoliate with a coarse grain every day. Yeah, I think gloves are but, a softer way of regular exfoliation. Yeah. And what's nice about these is just with a normal, so like with the sauce, but maybe just a normal shower gel, like just I wouldn't normal... use it with the scrub because no. then you lose the benefit of the particles in the scrub. Yeah, I know. I'm saying I'd use yeah. it with a normal shower gel. Yeah. So then you get the exfoliation. I don't know if there are guys watching this or girls as well. If you get like little like bumps on the she back of your bounce. arms, yeah. That really ma this that. massively helps. Yeah, you used to have that quite bad. Yeah, now know? they're gone. Yeah, and, and 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 yeah, they're just the, the soap and glory ones. I recommend. I like because... that Charlie chose the pink ones too. Like well, I actually have no say in this. Well, to be on look, I mean to be honest, I would obviously prefer a more manly colour. <laughs> However, the the white ones go dirty quite quickly. Yeah. And I, I mean, I know this is a boots haul. I shouldn't probably say this, but boots own ones aren't very good. They don't last very long. Whereas, it's not sponsored. You can. No, I one. know, but I don't like slagging brands off. But like, but the soap glory ones are very good, and I think they're a little bit more expensive. But they, we probably we probably buy a pair every month, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, um, you should replace them quite regularly. Yeah, it's a nice product. Cool. So my next one is a oh. Garnier. Yeah, this one looks really good. A Garnier Micellar. Another one for you. Mm. Oil infused cleansing water. Um, I saw quite a lot of Instagrams. I think they did quite a lot of blogger activity with this recently. Um, but yeah, it made me want to try it. So well done, Garnier. Your blogger campaigns worked. I went out and bought this as a result of that. So yeah, this is the oil infused cleansing water. Can you can you shake it? yeah, you can see the oil has settled at the top. If you ever see anything that's separated, it means that there is oil in there, which obviously is larger particles. So the oil goes to the top. So just give it a shake before you use it. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I think Garnier Micellar Water is always my favourite brand. Um, it's just big, you get so much use out of it. And my skin loves oil. It's I have got oily skin, but it really likes when I put oily products on it, whether that is an actual oil or something with oil in. I'm rambling, but yeah, I'm really excited to give this a try. <laughs> I do that a lot. Right, I'll talk about these. Should I, should I do... So actually picked up a couple more products from L'Oreal Men Experts range. Um, I use this every probably every day. Once again, probably after the gym. You have about four variations of that in the shower. No, but this is the one. This anti blackhead one. Um, it's it's not too coarse, so it's, it exfoliates, but it, it's not a proper exfoliator. It's a yeah, so it, yeah. I find it is honestly. It feels like it really cleans the skin. 
if you've been in the gym or you have rugby training or if you've just been exercising, it gives you that clean feeling. And this is probably one of my favourite products. It's quite hard to find a deodorant that you like, the smell of, right. and that works. Because a lot of the other brands, and I won't mention them, that make them, they don't smell very manly, but they really do the job. Right. This one reminds me of Abercrombie smell. Really? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, is this one that I brought in South Africa? Yeah, probably. See what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Not it's fierce not... though. Yeah. The other one. No, fierce. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, what else? Hmm. <laughs> Um, but, Charlie just said I remind him of Dexter. But, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. but the other the other good thing about this is one thing I don't know why deodorants still do it today wow. is those horrible white marks that you get when you put a shirt or a t-shirt on. This I never it says get. Says anti marks. Oh, oh no, oh, this doesn't get them. No, I never get them. So on like a blue t-shirt, I might put that on. Yeah. And like on other brands, you get like white lines, and you have to spend all this time doing this. Yeah. And it's it's a proper That's workout. True. So um, no, this is uh, this is a product I've used now probably every day for the last four or five years. Nice. My next one is quite a practical one. I actually got this because I saw your sister had one when we went to Greece last time. It's a uh, it's a big flat mirror and these are so handy for travelling. Sometimes when you're travelling you just don't know if the hotel's going to have a window um, or a mirror by the window and it makes doing your makeup an absolute nightmare. So if you have something like this and the lid actually folds back to prop the mirror up, you can do your makeup right it's by the window nice or outside. outside isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So you get the best lighting. And it's just a really big mirror that's very easy to pack, so really, really handy for travelling. At the moment I use my Paul & Joe one, which is round, but it doesn't prop up. So when I saw this, I think it was fairly expensive actually, I think it's just £5, but I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this, so that's a uh, practical purchase. So so this product I feel like I've talked about in every video I've featured yeah, on your channel. Yeah, you have. <laughs> um, Palmer's, Palmer's Cocoa Butter, it is probably one of my favourite products, yeah, I use it too. twice a day, I think, uh, if, yeah, if you've watched videos before, but one good thing that I noticed with this is obviously it's good at moisturising, um, so it's, it's, it's very good during the summer, yeah. um, but the other big thing is it does help with marks, yeah. so like this, like my butt, I, I'm, I'm quite clumsy, so I burnt my arm, I feel like it has helped. You have a lot of like rugby scars. I get rugby cuts. I actually use the uh, firming version of this now, I wrote a blog post on why I love the firming version so much, I'll leave that link down below, um, but I guess for you firming is probably like one step too far when it comes to... Probably. Yeah, and they do ones with tanning in, don't they? Which is amazing. I also wrote about mm. that on my blog. They've got like a spray on tan, but yeah, both of us love Palmer's. And this is, to be honest, I would always go for the one with the just the squeezy top, the pump. I like, don't find their pumps work. Very no, yeah. no, and there's a lot left in the bottom. Yeah, which you can't get to. And whereas you just hit this, that down. yeah, exactly. So, so this, and actually, there is a man's one. They don't sell it in all the boots. It's well, it's a different colour bottle. It's a grey bottle, bottle, and it's for men. And it smells slightly different, but to be honest, I prefer this one. And then I have three, oh, not the receipt. Um, I have three more bits and pieces. Why don't you talk about this one yeah, and I'll talk so. about these two. So another random practical purchase, boots. Uh, they're called the Blonde Blending Hair Grips. I, just, <laughs> I love that they make them sound like... Well, they're really they're good hair though. Grips, like, they're like, they're if blend. you have a black hair grip though, in blonde, blonde hair, blending. it's really obvious. Whereas for me, what I like to do is when I have a ponytail, I wrap a strand of hair from the bottom of the ponytail, um, like that's come out of the ponytail, I wrap that around the hair bobble and then grip it in place with this. I just think it's a really nice hairstyle. Actually, Nathan took a really cute photo of me and Dexter and you can see what I've done, so I'll insert that over Charlie's face right now. Um, so yeah, I always lose these. I always have them in the bottom of my handbag. So They're everywhere. Yeah, in they house. literally are those and those full little, of the hoover. What are those little, like, they look like key rings? Those new little hair things, plasticky, like windy. Oh, the bobbly things. Yeah, yeah. they're everywhere. The yoga hair rolls. So yeah, I got those. And then the last thing that I picked up is a Rimmel lipstick. This is from the Kate Moss collection, and it's pink, um, kind of almost rose gold, but more just a metallic pink. I love Rimmel as a whole. I love everything that they come out with, but I'd never tried these lipsticks before. Yeah, I just thought they were really beautiful and I wanted to give the formula a go. So I picked up number 54, which is Rock and Roll Nude, and it just seems like a really lovely wearable everyday lipstick. So I'm going to give that a try as soon as we finish filming. Okay, and the last product is one that I've not ever tried before and I just was drawn to by Sanctuary Spa, um, and it's a, a Radiance Exfoliator. It sounds mm -hmm. It just sounds really nice. I mean, I love I love Sanctuary. The, the body scrub smells amazing, right? To be mm -hmm. honest, we should have bought one of them. They're really nice. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I think it's it's just for healthy looking skin, it's just an exfoliator. So, I mean, for, from a guy's perspective, it would probably be good to use this before shaving. Yeah. Because um, it brings up your hairs, raises your hairs. But yeah, I'll be interested to give this a go. Smell nice. Yeah, they always smell nice sanctuary things, don't they? Mm, yeah. Interesting to know how natural it is, but... Yeah, so they, they use apricot granules, so there's no microbeads in this, which is good. Oh, that's really good. Um, Pineapple and papaya. Yeah, grapeseed, pump, pumpkin, wow. Yeah. Again, yeah. it's animal testing. Like that, yeah, tick. Um, do you know what, we should actually do a video where we try and make our own skin care products. That would be amazing. Like organic, because... Thumbs up if you want to see Charlie and I doing a video yeah. where we make our own skincare. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I feel like this video has gone on for quite a long time. Both of us do like to talk a lot, especially somebody to my left. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thumbs up for more videos with Charlie. Also, you uh, may already know this, but Charlie has finally, 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 finally. launched his <laughs> blog, manabouttown.me.me. Um, so I'll leave a link to Charlie's new blog down below. Go and pay a visit, leave a little comment, say hello, um, leave a comment saying that you come from the video if uh, that's what you've done. And I'll also leave Charlie's Instagram down below. He has now got 30,000 Instagram followers. Well done, Cha Cha. So yeah, blog a boyfriend, done good, haven't you darling? Yes, we need to get Dexter more followers now. He's, yeah. he's lagging behind. Yeah. Can we ever do a video together and not talk about Dexter? I, I, he's a big part of our life, it's yeah. impossible. Like, if when you have babies, it's, it's just a thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, darling, for joining me. Thanks for um, having me. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Cheers guys! That was cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers guys! <laughs> um, right, okay, cool.